Kia ora koutou and welcome to Spartacus in about three minutes. Warning, game contains depictions of slavery. It has no solo mode. It's a game for two to four players, playing time is medium to long, and it's a reasonably complex game. In ancient Rome, you are a Dominus running a gladiatorial ludus, the head of a wealthy but not politically significant family. Can you plot and scheme your way to power, all while winning the hearts and minds of the public by putting on glorious shows in the arena? The game ends once a player gets to 12 influence and stays there until the end of the turn. You mostly get influence by winning fights in the arena. Card management. There are a lot of different cards to manage. Auctions. Each turn you will bid on cards to buy. Dice. Battles in the arena are decided with dice. Player turn. Grab a faction board and take your starting gladiators, slaves, guards, and money. Each turn will consist of three phases. Intrigue, market, and arena. Draw three intrigue cards. This is your hand. They come in three types. Schemes, reactions, and guards. You can discard any number of cards to to get the money shown below. You can only use a scheme if you have enough influence. We are short here, but we can ask another player to add their influence to our scheme. You can trade and make deals, but you don't have to play the card you said you would. In fact, you could use an opponent's influence to target them. Reactions are played when their trigger conditions apply, and you can play these on other players' turns. If you are targeted by a scheme, your guards can help defend you, either cards in play or from your hand. At the end of your intrigue phase, discard down to your hand size. In the market phase, each player bids for a card secretly, with the winner gaining it. Each card is revealed one at a time. Once that's done, you bid on who gets to host the arena phase. The host gains influence and can invite any two players to the arena, including themselves. You can equip your gladiator with one of each type of equipment card. Here they invite a player who only has a starting gladiator, hoping for an easy fight. Declining an invite costs you influence. Players then bid on the result but you cannot bet against yourself. Each gladiator gets dice based on their stats. Blue is speed and determine who goes first and how far you can move. Attack uses the red dice and defense the black. When you make an attack roll, rank the dice from highest to lowest. If a red die is higher than a black, it is a hit. If it is lower or equal, it is a block. And any die of three or higher that is unopposed is also a hit. Each hit removes a die from your opponent's gladiator. When you run out of one type of die, your gladiator can yield. If you lose them all, they are decapitated. The winner gets one influence and the gladiator one favor. Gain three favor and they become an influential champion. A wounded gladiator can be spared or put to death but each favor they have costs the host one influence to put them to death. Claim any gambling winnings and end the turn. Why would you like this game? Spartacus is a game of blood and treachery, and as a result, it's definitely not for everyone. The amount of dealing, trading, backstabbing, and murder involved in the game makes it a great fit for groups who want high interaction and conflict. And this is what makes Spartacus really work for one of my groups. We love a bit of sudden but inevitable betrayal in our gaming. There are so many different schemes you can pull off, as well as surprise encounters in the reaction cards. And the gladiators have a bunch of special abilities, and you can have better in the arena that range from squash matches to epic main events. The best thing about this game is shouting this when someone tries to attack you. However, the adult themes and high levels of conflict are very much not for everyone, and I wouldn't call it a relaxing game. It can get very heated. The three phases of the game can also feel a little disconnected at times. And I have a soft spot for the first edition because the show featured Kiwi actors like Timuera Morrison, Manu Bennett, Lucy Lawless, and Guy from Shorty Street. Want high interaction but without betrayals? Try Chinatown. And for a different take on wheeling and dealing, try New Angeles. Spartacus. Bloody good game. 3 Minute Board Games does not do paid content. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button and subscribe to the channel.